Hey, what's going on guys? This is Eric from LogicalGamer.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a brand new GTA 5M FX server. I have released previous videos on how to create the old Citizens FX server, but they have updated it and that video no longer works. So I'm just going to walk you through a very simple and easy way to get your server started and show you an easy way to port your scripts over. Note that some of these won't work because they have changed you know, the way things operate so you'll have to check your script updates to make sure the uh, newer versions or the, the developer has updated it so let's go ahead and get started first what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to 5m.net all right and then go to download server and instead of previously instead of taking you directly to the download now they take you to the wiki page where it's going to show you actually how to set it up their instructions aren't the best but if you read through it and you kind of know what you're doing you'll be able to figure it out but if not just go ahead and continue watching this video and i'm going to show you how to do it so to make things easy let's go ahead and download all of the stuff we're going to need so let's go ahead and download the latest version of uh the cfx or sorry fx server i'm using windows and this is a windows tutorial so go ahead and go to windows you want to go to master and then go to the latest version which is always going to be the absolute bottom let's go ahead and download this save it and don't worry about that we're going to head and get the other stuff we need now go down to the uh, cfx server data go ahead and download this it's going to take you to the github go ahead and download the zip and save that to your downloads as well Okay, now let's go back. Oops. All right. I'll go ahead and open this up, and we're going to need this in a second. Okay. All right. Now, basically, what we're going to go ahead and do is make our new folder. So, let's go ahead and make a folder. I'm going to name mine FX Server. It's kind of hard to see because of my background, but here it is right here. Let's go ahead and open that up, and then open up our downloads folder as well. Go ahead and move your server data into the FX folder and extract files here. And there should be more than that. There it is. All right. And then you can delete the zip folder. Now go ahead and extract the CFX server data master. And you'll see your resources folder. Go ahead and you can copy it or whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and drag mine over. All right, so there we go. Now we have all of the server files in here. Very easy. Now let's go ahead and make our startup, or our, sorry, our server CFG, which is gonna be all of our server settings. All right, so let's go ahead and now that you've navigated to the server CFG page, copy all of this. Okay. Now open Notepad++. And paste it in and before we save anything let's go ahead and change some settings so the host name as covered in my previous videos this is what your server is going to show up as so for mine it's going to be logical gamer FX test oh. test all right now I, you don't have to do this. I'm going to change this because I need to open my server port, okay? And it's on a different computer. So I'm gonna make it five. Remember you guys will not need to do this. This is something I'm changing for myself. If you have to, you can change it if you have multiple servers running. The SV script hook is gonna uh, allow other play uh, players and users to use script hook. This is good for like free roam, fuck around servers, different things like that. But if you're hosting a legit role play or you wanna kinda close down and narrow what uh, players can do, you're gonna wanna turn this off. Your Archon password is for if you try to remote into your server. Uh, also, by the way, these hashtags in front, if there's in front of the, one of these commands, it means it's not active. So to make this active, right now the server has no Archon password. You cannot use Archon. So say we want to use Archon, just uh, go ahead and delete the pound sign and it will allow you to use that. So everything else looks fine. Max clients, yeah, we'll make it a, and that's kind of self-explanatory. Okay, so now we're gonna save this. 
let's save it into your FX server. So go ever wherever location you have your folder, you're gonna go there. So mine's on my desktop FX server, and then here it is. So save file type. Go ahead and save it as all types, and then do server.cfg. Oops, that's not a dot. There we go, and save. Perfect, there you go. So let's go ahead and go back to here and now you can see we have our server CFG in here. Now the last thing what we're gonna do is make our startup. So go ahead, navigate back and copy their Windows startup line. We're gonna just take that for now. Go ahead and delete what you had entered in your CFG and paste this in. And this is a little important. So what you're gonna wanna do is go and find out what your directory is, your directory uh, address so mine is right here you can obtain this by going to your folder and just clicking up on the top bar and it will re should reveal the whole uh, address I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then we're gonna replace where it says the C artifacts and then don't forget to add your forward slash back and then the beginning of this type run so there you go this is what it will look like run your server folder dot and or forward slash run dot cmd and then your server config file now you're gonna go ahead and don't save save as oh shit I just fucked up let me go ahead and undo what I did I'm just gonna make alright so just make a new file sorry I fucked that up alright and then save this one in the same folder same situation do all types and then type server start up boom and this is a bat file so server startup dot bat you can name it whatever you want this is what I have mine set as and save it all right you can go ahead and close out of that and navigate back to your uh, server folder believe it or not we're almost done you're done setting up the server now what you're going to need to do is open up your ports. So, what we're going to do is open up our ports. Oh shit. Most routers, you use 192.168.1.1 to get to it. I'm using OpenWRT, so mine is going to look way different than yours, but it's the same concept. You just need to open up a port. Uh, you're going to need to go to your manufacturer's website and look up the proper manuals and information on how to uh, configure your system and change the ports. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. Alright, so we're going to do uh, GTA test. Alright, and now we just need to go back to the CFG to verify what we set up our port as. And I'm a huge copy and paster just to minimize errors. So we're going to go ahead and paste this in. Alright, and then type in CMD so you can get your IP address. IP config will give you your address. Mine is 19. Oh, one one. I guess it gave me one one. One nine eight. Okay, deal. It's your IPv4. Sorry, it's, it's a little fucked up. All right, there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and save it, and then save and apply. And now I should have it in there. Did I fuck that up? Sorry guys, I'm a little tired. Test. Alright, let me do this again. There, I didn't add it. Fucking idiot. Alright, there. Now that it's added, go ahead and save and apply. Okay, so I have officially port forward. So now the server should work. So let's go ahead and try it out. Alright, so we navigate here and hit your server startup. Yes, I want to allow access. Okay, as you can see, it has found the resources and it has generated a cache file for it. 
and started the resource. And as you can see, it started the map, which is your server spawn points. And it has, uh, there it is, heartbeat to live interval. That is just pretty much making sure that it's reporting your server's status to the main server list. All right, so let's go ahead and try it out. Uh, open up 5M here. Also, guys, I have plenty of videos on 5M, uh, how to install add-on cars, which is originally designed for the original FX server, but is still 100% functional and works exactly the same. So go ahead and check that video out. And uh, if you guys have any requests, let me know. I'm a little busy, so uh, I, it's hard for me to get to everybody on, on YouTube. So if you guys have any problems or any questions, please please go on my website and send me an email. I'm more likely to respond to you if you use my email system than if you use uh, YouTube because it's very hard for me to keep track of YouTube. So I don't see the server yet. Let's make sure it's on. Yes, it is. Okay, we can do it this way. Let's go ahead and do a direct connection because it looks like the server's thing is being stupid. And then whatever that port was I used. There we go. So looks like there is an issue with uh, the 5M reporting. Okay, now this is a common issue with FX server. This is not nothing or anything that we have done. This is not a setting. It's not anything. It's just a problem with uh, five the FX server itself. So unfortunately, we're going to have to force close 5M because of this error. So let's go ahead and force close it here. Okay. So there's two ways you can fix this issue. One way is to go ahead and restart the session manager because as you can see, it was a session manager issue. So we're gonna do restart session manager. Okay, that fixed the issue. Another way we can fix this issue is by closing the server, going back to your files, and then go to your server CFG. Edit with notepad. Right under where it says your last start, do restart manager there you go so make sure to do restart session manager at the bottom of your start resources this will restart the session manager for you and you won't have to type it in every time sometimes it does this sometimes it doesn't the session manager thing I'm not sure what causes it I haven't really read the documentation on it but this is an easy fix for it until they figure out what's going on so now that we got that out of the way and clear my cache folder even though it didn't do anything and let's restart the server all right started now let's go ahead and open 5m I was assuming they had fixed that with this latest update but it looks like it's still a thing but like I said restart it manually or restart it via the CFG it is uh, completely up to you it might show up this time. Get out of here. Alright. Nope. So let's go ahead and do a direct connect. There it is. Server is online. Alright, let's go ahead and connect. So as you can see, that did fix the issue we were having uh, with the session manager. Also guys, I strongly, strongly encourage you to set this server up on a virtual box or a VPS system. Um, don't run this on your main computer. It's very light. 5M is actually impressively light for what it does, but you still don't want to keep it on your computer. I don't recommend that. Uh, if I was you personally, I would buy a very cheap virtual private server. Uh, up to you, you can do Windows or you can do um, Linux and set it up on there. 
you shouldn't need more than like a couple of gigs uh, and make sure you get a lot of bandwidth because the transfer between clients and server is pretty high so you don't want to run out of your bandwidth and then not have to pay overage fee or whatever all right let's see what we got here as you can see there it is we have successfully created an FX server everything's functional now everything is working you just need to add scripts and different features the to your server you can really do whatever you want the world is yours at this point oh shit okay so let's go ahead and exit out of this and I'll show you guys how to port some of your scripts over uh, to FX server it's very easy just of course close out of this Alright, so say you have some old scripts that you want to port over. All you need to do is, is literally this easy. Drag your old resources into your new resources. That's it. After you've done that, you just need to call it in the server CFG. So port, pull your new scripts over into the new server and then just start it. So for example, Kix is the default loading screen that you use on 5M, so it's that easy. Look, I started it. Now go ahead and launch it, VR server startup, and there it is, restored it starters. Resource started, Kix. Very easy. All you have to do is just drag things over. Now like I said, some scripts don't work, some scripts do. You're just going to have to play around with it, contact the developers, make sure they've updated it to FX, and download the latest versions. Alright guys, well this is Logical Gamer, well, Crypto with LogicalGamer.com and that is a simple tutorial on how to set up an FX server on GTA 5M. Please comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions, please go to my website and hit contact right in the middle. And it will open up a contact application or a form where you can send me a direct email. If not, you can also email me directly at admin admin at logicalgamer.com and I will get back with you as quick as I can. Also, if you guys are into roleplay, I have my very own roleplay server that is uh, I just released the other day. It is packed with features. It is uh, very, very uh, easy to use and fun to play. So if you guys want to get on there, let me know and uh, apply for a job. And come and play with us. I'm also looking for dedicated admins, so if anybody wants to step up and take an administration role in my server, please contact me and uh, we can talk about what you can do for me and what I can do for you. Alright guys, as always, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'm out.